Continuing our 12 Investigates tonight, WXI 12 Jackie Pascal is digging into supposed relationships with ACES Elite Sports Academy. Its coach, who is from Mount Airy, claims the program has affiliations across Forsyth County from professional gyms and practice spaces to Forsyth Technical Community College. This hour, we were hearing from the college on how it's intervening to save students from going homeless and into tens of thousands of dollars into debt. I'm at Forsyth Technical Community College outside of where the Student Success Center is here on campus. The head of the department says this past fall, at least a dozen students came here asking for help, all to do with their sports program, not providing the resources they had been promised. That's when Forsyth Tech says they started looking into that program because the community college doesn't have a sports program. We're part of this program. We're part of your football program. And they're like, what are you talking about? Mason Sawyer is the Vice President of Student Success Services at Forsyth Technical Community College. She defines her role as helping students in any way they need. Some type of financial aid or some kind of other support, life happens moments. But there were a lot of those moments at the start of the fall 2022 semester. So they would come by and ask to go to our pantries or even ask for food um, or money for food and we'd provide that. But it got to a point where it was too repetitive, so we knew something else was happening. They figured out this group of students was a part of the Clemens based Aces Elite Sports Academy and the students reported being told by the coach they were playing football for Forsyth. We were able to find a website that listed the Forsyth Tech name and used one of our old logos as part of an affiliation, um, which, you know, kind of makes sense then why parents and students might think that we're affiliated. Forsyth Tech sent a cease and desist letter to the coach of the Sports Academy, Chris Griggs, to remove their logo from the site. But students and parents were still coming to the financial aid office asking for help in applying for loans. She said, we were going to take out a $30,000 loan. I'm like, no, you, you don't need to do that to come here. $30,000 is a lot of money. It is. You will never need that much money to attend our school. Sawyer says she spoke with a lot of parents of ACES elite players, including Sharon James. My son would call me and say, Mama, I haven't ate all day. She is the mother of Darius Singletary, who was in that fall's football program. James told Sawyer they had even visited for Scythe Tech's campus as a part of the recruitment process with the coach. I was thinking that this school was affiliated with him because he had this stuff laid out as if he, he knew these people. They also toured the practice facilities that Coach Griggs told the students and their families Aces Elite had partnerships with. They are the ones posted on the Aces Elite website, videos of Rise Indoor Sports and pictures of NC Fusion's fields at Truist Sports Park and Bermuda Run. But I spoke with the managers of both. Neither say they came to an agreement with Coach Griggs for the academy to use their facilities, and they've also both asked for the images of their facilities to be removed from the academy's site. Go. That's when we see videos Coach Griggs posted to his own Twitter of the players practicing outside the hotels they were staying in. It didn't look like what we signed up for. Another red flag for James was never meeting any other coaches. There are nine listed on the Aces Elite website. All but one of those I got in contact with say they have never worked for the organization. Why did you continue on in the academy? Why drop off your son? in the hands of, of this person that you had some red flags over. I want to go get him, but he doesn't want to come home. You know, if he come home, he feel like a failure. My son didn't tell me the truth, the truth until he didn't have any other choice when everything started really falling apart. That happened on September 9th when the remaining players were told the 2022 fall Aces Elite football program was done. The student was distraught and was upset and said, you know, we're at the hotel. And we were just notified that the whole thing's disbanded and we got to figure out what to do and where to go. This is at like 11, check out, it's at 12. For Site Tech leaders met up with student athletes still left at the La Quinta Inn and Suites in Winston-Salem. None of them are from North Carolina. They were left there with nowhere to go and no way to get home. I want to treat every student like my own child. And I have college age students um, and kids and I would want, I do what I want somebody to do for my child. So college administrators booked them rooms for the weekend at the hotel, footed the bill for meals at a restaurant across the street, and paid whatever the cost was to send them home. It was heart-wrenching because you never want to tell anybody that their dream is not a re actuality or reality. I had parents who were, and the students who were crying on the phone, um, and you never, never, never want to experience that. Forsyth Tech says it's not trying to get its money back. It's now focusing on avoiding the situation happening in the future. The president of the college did put out a message on its website, making it clear Forsyth Tech is not affiliated with ACES Elite Sports Academy.
And Sawyer says those in admissions are having to repeat this as well. I know how it is with athletics. Everybody wants to play in whatever league. Um, do your research. Um, don't send your child thousands of miles away without having contact with somebody at the school. In her position as a student success advocate, but also a mom, Sawyer says she's just hoping the students they helped will be able to get back on track. I don't know if they'll see this or not, but if don't give up. If you made it through this, you could make it through anything. Now, about half of these students at Forsyth Tech helped get home did finish out the semester virtually. I want to note, I reached out to the coach to see what happened from his perspective this past fall. He declined to sit down for an interview multiple times. He is active on Twitter, though, and actively recruiting more players. In fact, I've seen him retweeting posts from several high school football players, all with this graphic. It's an offer for them, they say, to play in the Aces Elite Sports Academy football program for fall of 2023. In Winston-Salem, Jackie Pascal, WXAI 12 News.